Today is a day unlike any other. It's election day, November 5th, if you will. The votes are getting tallied up. We find out if uh, Supreme Ruler Kamala is our next championing president or dictator Donald Trump is our next supreme tyrannical leader. Let me know what you guys think. <laughs> I'm, I'm team Trump all the way, baby. Voice YouTube had a crazy crash out online yesterday. Uh, we actually covered it on a video two days ago. Uh, seems like he got even worse with calling out Neon while he's on the toilet. You're sick. With the fever, you're hallucinating. First of all, I was done. I posted my last tweet on my other phone. I've deleted Instagram. Look, I'll show you. I've deleted Instagram. Oh, I didn't delete TikTok yet. I'll do that right now. By the way, this is my home screen. I'm very minimalistic. I'm a minimalist. Oh, kick? Oh, God, dear God. Snapchat, I'm gonna start using Snapchat, so I'll just remove from screen, remove app, remove from screen. Eddie, I'll keep you here for now. You were a good guy to me before you changed up on me and switched on the G7 motherfucking president. Listen here, Neon, I was done. I sent my employees home. I said, I don't need security tonight, leave. My assistant said, baby, can I sleep with you today? Can I suck your dick? I said, no, go home. I need to be alone. So it was super weird. It's like a 12 minute video. It's kind of unsettling the whole time. He's kind of just talking about absolutely nothing and everything at the same time. Very weird. Then he starts talking about his rap career and everybody's peasants. The, I'm be real foolish. The people you're surrounding yourself with right now are not your friends. They're either riding the clout that you're generating right now, or they're just looking to make a name for yourselves while also saying, Hey guys, look, I was associated with Fusi on his downfall. Give me some credit, right? Guys. <laughs> Can you hear me? Can you hear me? Yes. yes. Okay. On the count of three, I want you to say fucking peasants. One, two, three. Fuck you, you peasants. peasants. Sounds like he really needs to get some sleep to that voice. He's getting real hoarse. Bro's running around just actually making a muck in Australia right now. I don't know what's going on with him, but he needs to really get a check in. Uh, who released him from the hospital? I have no idea. Should have stayed there way longer. It's getting way worse. Uh, you're making yourself uh, embarrassing. But I will say, the views are coming in, bro. The views are coming in. <laughs> I mean, everybody's watching. I'm watching. It's a train wreck right now. It's an absolute train wreck. I don't trust my own I'm a mind racing fast Got my foot up on the gas Got a hundred on the dash If the police roll up on me I ain't stopping for the gas Boy, you know my head was dirty If they stop me, I'm going to jail Surely They're trying to arrest me They want to arrest me Seven to ten years Come find me <laughs> I got dreams bigger than your whole team. It's very weird, very weird. And then he's just making a bunch of these random posts with the the masks on, the you know the the shiesty going on here. Talk about Sam Frank the whole time. I don't know what's going on, but he's also out here just freaking out in like his studio or whatever this is. I have Baby, can I tell you something? Yeah. I want to f Sam Frank. Okay. You know what else? What? I got <laughs> Play that shit. Then 
then he calls out Adam 22. He was kind of, he kind of roasted Adam 22. I'm not going to lie. Adam 22, you got cooked by Fusi. And it's weird that it was Fusi of all people to call you out. I kind of stand with the same sentiment that what Fusi has in his take with Adam 22. Adam 22, you fucking weird, bro. I'm going to be real. You fucking weird, bro. He's calling out Adam 22. He's absolutely unhinged. And I'm all for it. I'm, I'm all for this Fusi, bro. I'm, I'm loving it. It's a car wreck. I'm enjoying it online. Hey, yo, Adam 22. Hey, put the volume down. He needs to hear me. His peasant ears can't hear me. Adam 22. Hey, listen to me, you cuck. You let a black man f*** your wife and post a video on the internet and then interviewed him on the podcast and you're talking and saying, I'm mentally ill? Brother. Brother, brother. Look in the mirror. Okay? Repent to God. Because the devil has his hands on you. And if you want to talk like you're talking online, Adam, I know the address to your studio. Tell all your workers to go home. Tell all your security to go home. Just have your wife there. Have her naked sitting there. Drop the Addy. I'll be there. Tell me the time. And no one gets to leave until one of the others can't. I'll do that. Poop. Realistically speaking, you need to get help, Fousey. But I'm also a man of the entertainment business. I love it. I love it. It is what it is. Guys, go stream IGD on all platforms. Let me know if you're about a part of the Fousey thing. Fousey needs to get help. Fousey, uh, I really don't see how you come out of this on top, how you look any better than what you do. I'm, I really don't see how the train is going to stop now. I don't think he's gotten any sleep either. He was tweeting from yesterday all the way to today, this morning, as of two, three hours ago, and everything like that. It's nighttime in Australia. Bro, go to bed. It's okay. Fusi, the internet will be here for you when you wake up. Find yourself. Go get help again, or just don't do it. Just go get a real job, bro. Go get a real job. Let me know what you guys think. Am I going crazy? Uh, leave a comment in the comments below. I'll see you all next time. Subscribe to your brand new Fusi Crash Out Part 2. Insane. Insane. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Uh, let's hope he doesn't beat any more of his managers or cameramen. But it might happen. You never know. I love you guys. Be good. Be kind. Be safe. Let's see you all next time. Subscribe to your brand new. I'm out of here. Pardon you disrespecting my name, nigga. Flood Australia right now. Our securities won't be involved. It'll be me and you in the back alley. I'll can't cuff myself behind my back. I'll let you have a weapon.
way that she did, that disrespect would be so loud before I even got home, she would be in an Uber on her way back to the street. 